Stun grenades, tear gas and anger. A familiar cocktail on Iraqi streets over the last month, as sometimes deadly protests continue against widespread unemployment, government corruption and poverty. Now the nation's students have joined in. We as students have specific demands. We want changes to the constitution and election laws, and we want a change of regime. Security forces have been relentless in their crackdown. While over 200 people have been killed since demonstrations started at the beginning of October. In this car, security forces are throwing stones and others are firing live rounds at the demonstrators. They are also using tear gas and stun grenades. Security sources said today's deaths resulted from tear gas canisters being launched at protesters' heads. The government has declared an overnight curfew in the capital after thousands of demonstrators continued to turn out throughout Monday. Protests kicked off when public anger finally boiled over across Iraq after years of foreign occupation and extremist violence. The unrest is the biggest challenge yet for Prime Minister Adil Abdel Mahdi, who came to power nearly a year ago, promising to address corruption and poverty. The pressure from the street has seen his ruling coalition begin to fracture, and calls are increasing for fresh elections.